Okay, uh, welcome back to another Hebrew class. And uh, we're going to continue in uh, lesson 17. And um, let's see if I can get these forwarded on to these other groups in case there's people that want to um, study with us. Uh, we're now in uh, unit two. And so uh, unit two, we're covering more vocabulary, we're covering a lot more uh, details, uh, grammar details. And um, so I want to do a little bit of review here. Uh, looking at this, hine, po, and zef. Okay, and the differences here. So, uh, in, in review, now I did cover this last time. Uh, so, though both hine and po mean here, they are used differently and have slightly different meanings. Po refers to the location or presence of some object or entity, it generally follows the subject in nominal sentences or the verb in verbal sentences. So here's some examples. Okay, Adon Tuburi Oved Po. Okay, so Mr., uh, I, think, I think that might be Tuburi maybe. Oved, he works here. Okay. Adon Tuburi Oved Po. Yeah, Mr. Tuburi works here. Adon Tuburi Oved Po. Yeah. All right. So, and then uh, we have this one right here. Ha telephone shali po. So this is a question. So it's like the telephone belonging to me is is here. In other words, uh, is is my telephone here? That's basically what that's that's asking. Is my telephone here? Okay. Uh, here is a question here. A shalo. We have a po. Uh, so where, uh, let's see, uh, ha oh, uh, let's see, this is uh, ha -akot, rather. I don't know why I keep getting that confused with ohave. It does look kind of similar, but it's ha -akot. Okay, so where is your sister? So this says where, and ha -akot is the sister and shelka belonging to you. Okay, so where is your sister? Here is the teshuvot, which is the answer. He lo po, she is not here. Okay, so that's it's used. Uh, po is used to refer to location or presence of some object or entity. Okay, so uh, and conversely, then uh, he nay is used at the beginning of a sentence to present an object or a person. Uh, so in this respect, it is similar to the word zef. However, whereas zef relates to a new fact, for example, uh, zot hamora la physica. Okay, so this is the physics teacher. This is the physics teacher. Or zef uh, hamor, let's, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, zef hamisrad hahadash. Yeah, zef hamisrad hahadash. So it's like this is the new. Uh, uh, office. I think Misrad is office. Yeah. Zeha Misrad Hadash. Yeah. This is the new office. Yeah. Zeha Misrad. Zeha Misrad Hadash. Zeha Misrad Hadash. Okay. So, um, uh, Hine presents something previously discussed or familiar. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this here.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. You uh, had to do something there real quick. So we're talking about the differences between Po, uh, Zeth, and Hine. All of these up here. Hine, Po, and Zeth. And so uh, Hine is used at the beginning of a sentence to present an object or a person. Look at this. Object or person. In this respect, it is similar to the word Zeth. However, whereas Zeth relates to a new fact. Okay, we did that. Uh, Zot Mora, La Fisica, and then Zeth, um, Hamisrad Hahadash. Hine presents something previously discussed or familiar. So look at the difference here. Something previously discussed or familiar, and Zeth relates to a new fact. So it's like Zeth relates to like, it's, a, it's an issue of discovery. Hine is something that is like uh, you already know about. And so you're asking, well, um, or you're saying here is such and such kind of thing. All right, uh, so let's let's take a look at these examples of Hine, uh, Bakita. Okay, so uh, let's see here. This Bakita, I think that's um, Bakita. Yeah, in the classroom. Bakita. Bakita, in the classroom. Okay, so we have uh, the Sha'alo, which is the question. Notice that response. That is that Aleph means she'elot. Question. Uh, Epo ha mora. Uh, it looks like it's ha mora, maybe, but it could be ha more. Uh, because they both look the same, essentially, I think. Ha more. Yeah, it does. Ha more. Okay, and then if you put ha mora, ha mora. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in in female, it's it's uh, it it is uh, it looks uh, virtually the same. Okay. So where is the teacher, Abel Hamore? Uh, the answer is he nay who. Uh, he is here. Here he is. Here he is. And so uh, this remember that uh, they they already know there's a teacher. So they're they're looking for him or they're looking for an object. They already know about it. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh Bikite uh or Bavate Hakafe. I think it's Bavate Hakafe. Bavate Hakafe. No, not that one. Bavate Hakafe. Bevet a cafe. Yeah, bevet. And uh, this the reason why I go over these all the time is because I never know where I'm gonna run into one of these where the dagesh is retained. <laughs> okay, bevet a cafe. Okay, so I left. Uh he ne ha cafe. So here is the coffee, the hane ha uh uga or ha ho goat. And here is the cake. Okay, so it's like uh, you already know about coffee and cake, and they're just telling you where it's at. And the answer here, the tissue boat, Toda Raba. Toda Raba. Okay. Um, let me try to adjust something here, real quick, guys. I don't know if it'll let me do it. There we go. Okay. Uh, when you're dealing with technology, you're constantly trying to adjust things to make them work better. Okay, so these are examples, uh, differences of uh, the Hine and the Po. Remember, the Po has to do with uh, uh, presence of some object or entity, uh, hine, uh, is used uh, to uh, is used at the beginning of a sentence to present an object or a person. Okay, and then ze relates to a new fact, 
whereas hine relates to something that's already known. So it's kind of confusing, isn't it? So there's like this, it's like in Hebrew, there's almost um, a different word for here. Whereas English is like, uh, uh, where's the teacher? Here he is. Um, is there any coffee? Here it is. You know, and it's, it's just used here, here, here. In Hebrew, uh, it, it doesn't work that way. It uses a different word for, for, for that same general idea. Okay, uh, so let's go to uh, Targila. Targila one. So remember, Targila means exercise. Uh, so we have Hashalem Bamilim. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to remember that Hashalem. I keep uh, I keep having to look that one up, but I know that uh, in the words. So I think it's uh, complete the words. I think that's what it is. Complete the words. Hashalem Bamilim. Yeah. Hashalem Bamilim. Yeah, Hashalem Bamilim. Okay, so complete with the words Hine, Po, or Ze. So we're going to uh, see which one will fit in here. Okay, so here is the She'elot, which is the question, and blank, Ima, Shelka. So this is almost like, uh, uh, is your, in other words, it's gonna, we're going to say, is your mother here? And I don't think we're going to use this one. I don't think we're going to use Po because Po is like, um, I think it's, uh, remember the Hine one is always at the beginning. So I think it's Hine. So Hine Imashukha, Hine Imashukha, is your mother here? Here's the answer, the uh, Teshuvot. Low blank looks like uh, this looks like a sector sector habiviti sector. <laughs> let's take a let's see what that is. Oh, could uh, where is my tet? Oh, it's a transliteration. Um, Bavivi, uh, it's almost like Ha Bavivi Sitor. No, she is uh, Sitor is like uh, she's like a babysitter. Ha baby. It's literally a, ha baby. It's literally a transliteration of an English word, ha baby, the baby. <laughs> and then sitor <laughs> or, or siter is probably siter. Ha baby, siter. Okay, so uh so well, let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. Uh the tissue boat uh says no. Uh, I bet just gonna be this one right here. This is Hine Ima Shoka. Is your mother here? Uh, and then uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to put Zeth in there. This is the babysitter. And then uh, Ima Shali, my mother, Lo, is not here. I bet she's Po. Okay, my mother, okay, Ima Shali Lo, let's say my mother is not, is belonging to me, is not Po Hayom, is not here today. All right, so okay, so we should have Hine, then Ze, then Po. Yeah. Emotionally low po hayom. Yeah. Emotionally low po hayom. Yeah. Emotionally low po hayom. Okay. So uh, this, I think it's going to be this one. Ina, uh, hine, ze, and po. 
So let's see what the answer key says. Okay, uh, it's not using, um, it doesn't use, look at this, it doesn't use he nay. Uh, okay, I see what it is. Uh, it uses zot too, which is the feminine version of ze. Zot ima shoka, is this your mother? Is this your mother? And the uh, the answer is lo zot ha bivi siter. No, this is the babysitter. But I did get this one right, the po right. Okay, ima shali lo po hayom. Okay, and you know what? That makes more sense because um, if you go back to the, um, now let's get rid of all those. Okay, so let me look at this again. Uh, okay, blank, Ima uh, Shoka. So what if we did say Hine Ima Shoka? Hine Ima Shoka? Ima Shoka. Come on. Yeah, if you were to say hine imashoka, you would it wouldn't be a question, it would be declaring, here is your mother. But uh if you say this this mother, your this mother belonging to you, then that is a question. Okay, so I, I'm straight, I'll get that straight. Hine imashoka means here is your mother. It's a declaratory statement. So you can't use hine there. So uh, hine does not work in here. Uh, and so it's, it, this is a little confusing too because they only give you ze. But uh, in the feminine form, ze is zot. Okay, so basically these are the same, essentially, but this one is masculine and this one is feminine. Look at that. And that's what they decided to put in the answer key. So, um, so it goes like this, zot. So this mother belonging to you, this is your mother? Is this your mother? Here's the answer, lo, and it's gonna use the same thing. Zot, habibi, siter, siter. And then of course I did get the po, as I said before. Um, so the po does, ima uh, shali lo, Po hayom. Uh, my mother is not here today. So it's like a stranger is asking a kid at the door. Uh, is uh, and, and in other words, the stranger, maybe the door opens, the stranger sees the, the person, you know, beyond the door, that's the adult, and then there's a little child at the front, and they look beyond and they see the person, they say, Well, is your mother here? Because they assume that's that's the child's mother. But uh, the child says, lo zot ha babysitter. Okay, no, no, this is the babysitter. Okay, and then uh, and then the child then continues and says, ima shali lo po hayo. My mother's not here today. Okay, let me see if I can get the second one right. <laughs> All right, so we have the hello, the question blank. Hader Shali, not that Hader. Hader Shali. Yeah, my room, that's right. Hader Shali. Hader. Hader Shali. Hader Shalim. Hader Shali. So here we go. This is my room, the room Shali, belonging to, to me. And uh, so. Uh, you double check something here. Okay, I bet you're gonna use hine, hine haheder haheder shali. Let's try that. Hine haheder shali. Yeah. Hine haheder shali. Yeah, let's let's put hine in there. Hine. 
Hine haheder shli. So here is uh, the room belonging to me. Okay, uh, and here is uh, this one here. Haheder kul chak katan. I think this this uh, I know this is is uh, coal is. Um, let's see here. I know I, I, it usually is like um, like everything, but kolakach katan. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's um, it's like very small. It's so so small. Yeah, the room is so so very small. It's like a uh, Wonder if that uh, Yeah, I like so much because the coal is like it's like um, much, and then is uh, is so much kolchach. It's so very small. It's uh, that's the idea being communicated there. Okay, and then here's this. Ani gara, I dwell blank. I think that's lavad, which means alone, which means. So I dwell, uh, it's going to be like here alone. So I'm thinking, uh, see, hine is used at the beginning. So that's out. Um, and we're not, we're not pointing something out like zef. So I think it's going to be po. Okay, so that's got to be po. Anigara po lavad. Let's see if it makes sense. Anigara po lavad. Yeah, I live here alone. Anigara po lavad. Yeah, anigara po lavad. Okay. So we should have hine and po on number two. Let's take a look at it. Yep, I was right. Hine hader shali. So here is uh, my room, okay? And then hahader kol katan. My room is so very small. Ani uh, garapo levad. Okay, so I am dwelling here alone. Okay, number three, uh, we have a shlecha. Now that shlecha means excuse me. Shlecha, excuse me. Uh, Hasafir Shali, uh, my book. Uh, okay, I see what this is. A, uh, so if somebody is like going to a bookstore and they ordered a book and they're at going to the counter and they say, Shlicha, Hasafir Shali, and we, they want to say, Here, is my book here? Is my book here? And so remember, uh, the Hine, I think, uh, always it's usually in the front, it's the beginning. Yeah, hine is always used at the beginning of a sentence. So what do you have left? So what we have left is shlika hasafir shli. So is my book, we want to say here. And uh, we're not, I don't think we're going to use ze or, 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 um, or zot. Uh, because it, you're pointing, you're saying this. You're pointing something out. So I think probably we're going to use po. And I think that's right. Okay, so let's look at the tissue boat. So this is the uh, she'elo. That's the question. Here's the tissue boat, the answer. And so you can imagine that at the desk, the clerk says, can, yes. Uh, it's here. Uh, here or here is it. Notice this who here. It, it's some a lot of times if it's uh, dealing with a person, uh, it it means he. But because we're the subject is the book that the person bought, it's it use still uses who, but it's translated as it. 
Okay, so this is why you would see who here. So, uh, so uh, basically, the the answer would be uh, here. It is here. It is, and um, let's see here. Ken, here it is, and I think probably uh, with a book, it's going to use Zen. Or this is it. Ken Zehu. Let's take a look at that. Ken Zehu. Yes, this is it. I think it's yes, this is it. Or it could be, um, I don't, you can't use Hine there, and you can't use, of course, the question is the word Sefer, is it masculine or feminine? So that'll determine whether you're using Zeh or Zot. Okay, um, it's definitely not Hine, because this is not the beginning of a, uh, so I think it's going to be Po and Zeh. And then the answer here, look at this here, uh, Toda. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's, let's see if I got that right, but I might, I might be wrong about that. Oh, look at this. They've got Hine. Here it is. Here it is. But it's not a hard and fast rule, apparently, to use, to use uh, that Hine has to be at the beginning of a sentence. Because you could, you could, it could be an answer, and then hine could be used. Apparently, look at this hine. Who? Here it is. And then uh, the answer is toda. You know, I almost wanted to put hine in there, but I, I was looking at their rule that they had. Notice this up here. Hine is used at the beginning of a sentence to present an object or a person. Okay, so when this says beginning, they could word this a little better, I think. Because it doesn't necessarily mean the first word. It's somewhere in the beginning. So that's that's the important thing. Hine is used somewhere in the beginning. <laughs> they should be a little uh, they should be a little more precise with that, I think. Okay, uh, so now that I know that, let's go down here. Uh, Apo Dan. So where is Dan? That's the, uh, here's the Shalot, uh, the question, and here is the Tshubo, the answer. Uh, if we were to say, here he is. I think this Hine is a, a person or object, right? Okay, so I'm going to put Hine there. What? Having a difficult time getting my pen to work today. Hine. Hine who? Here he is. Okay, now here's the question. Okay, I wonder if we're going to use Po? The, the, the answer, here's, look at this here. The answer is Po. Uh, Ze, this is not Dan. This is not Dan. Look at that. I think it's going to use uh, Hine, Po, Ze, and then, uh, and, uh, and, and then, uh, and then it's going to say, this is Gadi, Ze Gadi. Look at that there. Uh, so, okay, so you have Apo, Dan. Where is Dan? That's the question. And uh, and then uh, here's somebody answers here. He nay who here he is. And then uh, here's the the response. Po uh, here. 
Uh, Zen Lo Dan, this is not Dan, that's not Dan. Um, and then uh, the response, uh, and then the, he follows up by saying Ze Gadi. So, okay, so uh, I think it's going to be Hine, Po, Ze, and Ze. Okay, yeah, I got the Hine right. Uh, Hine, okay, this is not Po. Uh, it's Ze. Um, Ze Lodan and Ze Gadi. Okay, so I got this right. I got this right. But I wonder why they wouldn't use Po here. And uh, I don't even think they included that. They include the Shlika in there? Yeah, they did. It's there. Okay. And then the person says, Excuse me, they, they're wrong. In other words, it's kind of like a way of saying, uh, okay, you're you're correct. I, I'm wrong. Chlika, excuse me. Okay, so it's saying that you use uh, Dan. Z. Okay. Uh, you know that Z can also be used as this one. This one. That's what got me confused. Check that out, guys. Yeah, you can put Z in there, and it means this one. Why? Oh, I wish I I had some. Uh, I wish I could do cursive better. I never did. I never did write very well with cursive. This one, this one, look at that. Zeth can also be used as this one because you're, you're referencing, uh, you're referencing Dan, what's presumed to be Dan. And, uh, okay, so this is Hine. Inehu. Okay, so here, uh, here he is. Uh, here he is. Uh, Afo Dan. Where is Dan? Hinehu. Here he is. And the the uh, response is Zeth. This one. He's like pointing this one. Zeth. This one. And and then uh, he follows up by saying Zeth. Zeth Lo Dan. This is not Dan. And then he says again Zeth Gadi. That's uh, this is Gadi. Okay, and then the answer is Shlika. Oh, excuse me. I made a mistake. Excuse me, Shlika. All right. I think I figured that out. I hope that helped you guys too. You know, as I as I uh, make uh, presumptions and then make, make some errors and then correct myself, uh, you guys are learning too uh, that are following along with this. And may, I don't know, maybe some of you probably had it figured out before I did. I say bra bravo for you. Uh, but uh, we're looking at these three words, he nay and he nay uh, and po and z, and they're and they're used uh, in the sense of, uh, uh, in other words, it's used for here, but it, it, they're used differently in different uh, situations. So you see, in Hebrew, it's a little more complex than just you know in English, where you just have one word for here, and it's used uh, in so many different ways. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Uh, and let's take a look at, uh, now, so now we have, uh, this looks like ha o -gid. Might be uh, o -gid. Okay, the division. ha o -gid. ha o the division. Or it could be bind or tie, unite, combine, or not. The division. Okay, so. Okay, so we have the words hen, hem, he, who functions as uged. These are copulative. So, like uh, this is he, that, or this is, yeah, he, this is she, this is, uh, uh, let me see, let me think here. This is, 
Yeah, this is they. Masculine, mixed plural, and hen is they. Uh, feminine plural, which links the subject with the complement and nominal sentence as in effect clarifies the relationship between the subject and the predicate. Okay, their function is similar to that of the verb be in English. Okay, for example, the sentence uh, Adon Zahavi Rofe. Uh, 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 Mr. Zahavi is a doctor, expresses identification of the subject with the predicate. Okay, and then Adon Zahavi equals Rofe. Uh, so he's the doctor. So you know that the doctor is connected to Adon Zah uh, Zahavi, Mr. Zahavi. So use the copulative who in such sentences to identify, to emphasize the identification. Look at that, emphasize the identification, further clarifying the relationship between the parts of the sentence. Okay, so, so, <laughs> So look at this, Adon Zahavi, who, Rofe, he is a doctor. So instead of saying Adon Zahavi, Rofe, Adon Zahavi is a doctor, if you add that extra in there to make sure that you're clarifying what's what. So, so you, you would put, uh, because we're using Adon, that's Mr., it's going to use this one right here, which, uh, which traditionally is the pronoun he, but it's used in a grammar sense as well, to give more, uh, to, to direct you to the right uh, subject of what's being talked about or the object. So Adon Zahavi, who wrote it? So uh, Mr. Zahavi, he is a doctor. Literally, that's what that says. Okay, using the uh, Ugad or uh, Oged, Oged, I need to get used to saying that, is the most useful in longer sentences as it enables you to easily determine the subject. What's, what's uh, let's see, what's right of the Oged and the predicate, what's left of it. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, Oged, okay, and then uh, it's what's left. Easily trip the subject, what's right of the Oged and the predicate, what's left of it, okay. Okay, so Oged agrees with the subject and gender and number. The Oged agrees with the subject and gender and number. Okay, so um, we've got uh, Hakelev, Haze. Uh, this literally says the, this. Uh, Haze. That's got a special, uh, yeah, this, Haze. Haze. Okay, so uh, Hakelev, this is the dog. Hakelev Haze. So it's like this dog, who, uh, that's literally saying he, Shelenu. Uh, in other words, belongs to us. So if you put the whole thing together, Hakelev Haze, who, Shelenu, means uh, this dog belongs to us. Literally, this dog belongs to us, okay? Uh, notice it uses who, which is the masculine singular, and, and notice that Caleb is in the gender masculine and it's singular. That's why it uses that, uses this one, who. Okay, how about this one? Dina, he, Bahora, Nakhmada, Nakhmada. I think that Nakhmada is, um, Trying to remember. I think it means uh let's see. Um is it nice? I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up here. Bakora Nakmada. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> it means nice. I finally starting to sink in a little bit, guys. Uh Nakmada means nice. And Bahora is girl. Okay, so uh, Dina, he, Bahora Nakhmada. Okay, she's a nice girl. And notice that it has to use the he there because it's in reference to Dina and that's feminine singular. Okay, how about this one here? Ahorim Shali. Okay, so the family, my family, him, they, Ahorim uh, Shali. Let's see, my, my family's, let's see, actually that Hahorim, 
Ahurim Shali. That's right, my parents. Ahurim Shali. Yeah, my parents. Okay, so Ahurim uh, Shali. So my parents, they, now notice this here. It's in reference to a parent is like a woman and a man. Uh, and you're using they, which is the mixed plural for they. They. And so what is, what is it? What are they? Ahavarim Shali. They are my friends. So they are my friends. So isn't that nice if you had a kid that says that about his parents? Ahavarim Shali, Hem Ahavarim Shali. They are my friends. Ahavarim Shali, Hem Ahavarim Shali. Yeah, that's right. My parents are my friends. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's kind of a nice thing for a kid to say about his parents, isn't it? Okay, now look at this one right here. Tamar. Uh, uh, this looks like Shira. I think that's a female name, and Tamar is a female name. So you got a female plus female going on here. Oh, come on. Give me a right. I wish this thing's, look at how fast this writes when I press it down. But as soon as I put it up and I try to write letters, I, I don't know if a Wacom, Wacom company out there, if you happen to see this video, probably unlikely. You need to up your game a little bit. Fix, fix these electronic pens. Get them so that I can quickly write without the uh, thing being turned off. I haven't found a setting in there. But, um, Let's go on here. Tamar Vashira. So Tamar Vashira. They, look at this, hen. It uses hen. Hashikanot. Uh, Hashikanot. Shelenu. I think that Hashikanot is uh, a neighbor. Hashikanot. Shelenu. Hashikanot. Shelenu. Yeah, our neighbors. Hashikanot. Shelenu. Yeah, Shalanu, Shalanu. Hashkenut Shalanu. Okay, Hashkenut Shalanu. Okay, so Tamar Bashira Hen Hashkenut Shalanu. Okay, so Tamar and Shira, they, look at that, they, uh, the neighbors belonging to us. That's what that says. The neighbors belonging to us. Shalanu, belonging to us. Okay, uh, let's see here. This looks like, uh, I've never seen that proper name before. I don't think. Roy, there we go. Roe. 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 It's Roe, that's how you, how you pronounce it, but in English, it's this right here. Roy, but it's pronounced Roe. <laughs> oh, e. All right. So Roe, who Yeled, okay, he's a child. Gado, he's a big child. Look at that. And notice this. It 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 specifically puts that in there so that you know what's being talked about. So you it's uh who's the big child? He. He's the big child. And that's why that who is there. So Roe, who Yeled Gadol. He's a big child. Okay, how about this one? Haseret Hadasha. Okay, so this is the uh, the new movie. I think Haseret is like a movie. Haseret Hadasha. I think it's Hadash rather. Yeah, Haseret Hadash. Haseret Hadash. Oh goodness, why can't I get it to come up? I want to get it pronounced. Here we go. I'm almost certain that should be uh, the new movie. What am I? Oh, that's why. Yeah. Hey, Hadash. Hey, Hadash. Look at that. It's almost like. Uh, this uh, this uh, definite article, hey, 
it's almost it's almost like it sounds like this with Segol. Hehadash. So Haseret Hehadash. Haseret Hehadash. Yeah. Haseret Hehadash. And then look at this. It uses the uh the pronoun who because uh Haseret is masculine gender, apparently. And Mitsuyan means excellent. Mitsuyan. Haseret Hahadash. Who Mitsuyan. Haseret Hahadash. Yeah. Who Mitsuyan. Yeah. Haseret Hahadash. Who Mitsuyan. Yeah. Who Mitsuyan. Okay. It is, uh, it's excellent. Okay, always use oged when the predicate is a noun, okay? Use oged optionally when the predicate is an adjective. Okay, interesting. Do not use oged when the sentence contains a verb. The subject is a pronoun. Okay, interesting, wow. Look at all these rules, these grammar rules. Okay, so you can't use oged. Uh, okay, so let's look here. Ha'ak shel David. So the brother belonging to David, Polek, uh, he's going um, Lagan Yeladim. Remember that, Lagan Yeladim? That's kindergarten. Okay, so the brother belonging to David, Holek Lagan Yeladim. Okay, so uh, the sentence contains a verb. Uh, so it's this one right here, Holek. He's going, he's moving forward, he's, okay. And then also the subject is a pronoun. If the subject is a pronoun, you don't see these uh, uged in there. So what is an example of uged? Look, who, he, him, or hen. Okay, depending on whether it's masculine, feminine, masculine plural, or feminine plural. Okay, so anaknu studentit. So we are students. Anaknu, studentit, we are students. The subject is a pronoun, okay? You don't see any of these in there. You don't see who, you don't see he, you don't see him or hen. You don't see any uged. That's what they're called in this, in this grammar sense. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Uh, let's see. Lahimsa, look at that one. Lahimsa is also an uged. Uh, now, notice that... Um, uh, nimsa is means located, but let's see what this one is. Lahimsa. Yeah, to be. Lahims. Oops. Did I get that right? Lahimsa. Okay, the verb lahimsa is also. Lahimatse. Lahimatse. That's how you pronounce it. Lahimatse. Lahimatse is also uged. I think that's oged. Oh, where is it with the um, nikud? We need the nikud. So it's lahimatse. 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 Okay, let's try this. Oged. Oh, goodness. Come on. It has no, it has no sound to it. Oged. Um, and I know I saw it uh, it there with the uh, Nikud in it. That's what I'm looking for is the Nikud. There it is right there. Oged. It's like, it's like association. Notice they use this term copulative. That almost has a sexual overtone. I don't know about that. Uh, but it's uh, in here it says association. Oged. Uh, okay. It's probably, they could probably do better by putting uh, association. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, the verb lahim, um, lahimsa a, 
Rahim Sa'ed. Boy, it's a tough one to pronounce. Lahim Atse. Lahim Atse. Okay, Lahim Atse is also in Oged. It means be, but only when referring to a location or presence. Look at that. A location or presence. Wow. Lahim Atse. It's also in Oged. Uh, it means be but only when referring to a location or presence. So let's see, look at some examples here. Uh, Ya'il the Moshe. So this is a girl. And this is a man. Uh, Ya'il the Moshe. Ninsa'im, they're located. Basifria. Oh, okay. I see, this is like the verb form. Yeah, we, we've used this before, the located one, Ninsa'im. So they are located uh, in the library. And uh, let's see here. Musician. Meterofoli. <laughs> Look at that one right there. Metal, meter, meterofolitin. Mephalotoritin. <laughs> Nimsa. Binyan Yorek. Okay, so that one I'm going to have to look up. I think this is a musician, musician, musician. Yeah, that's right. Oh, museum. Museon. Let's see, it almost looked like musician, but it's muse museum. Museon. Yeah, museon. 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 Okay. Um, metropolitan. That's a long one. I'm gonna have to put that one in there. Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan or met Metropolitan. <laughs> Museon Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan. Muse Museon Muse Museon Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan. Okay, look at that. That's a transliteration, clearly, of an English word. Metropolitan Museum, uh, but in but in Hebrew it sounds a little different. Museon Metropolitan. Museon Metropolitan. Okay, I call so it's uh, Nimse Nimse uh, Binyan. I think that Binyan is like a building. Nimsa Binyan, Yorick. Oh. But no, I bet you it's, um, yeah, that's New York. That's what that is. Okay, hold on here. Uh, we need a uh, Zadik. We need an OLAP, okay. It's located. And then Bun. And, but this right here, look at this. How do you get Banu? Unless that's, that's probably a shuruk there. I bet you that's a shuruk at the end. So it's like this right here. We get ooh sound. Uh, Banu. Yeah. Museon Metropolitan Nimsa be New York. The New the New York. The New York. Okay, so that's right. So this is uh this is literally a transliteration of an English of, of a uh, American city. 
but New York. Okay, and then Nimse. Nimsa. It's Nimsa. Okay, so it's located. All right, so that's all part of that verb right here. Lahimse. Lahimsa. Looks like I think it's Lahimsa, something like that. It means B, but only referring to location or presence. So in other words, it's like located. You could translate it as located in such and such. Okay, uh, let's see here. I got Targila too. I feel like I've gone an hour. I spent a lot of time fiddling around trying to figure out the little ins and outs of, of these, uh, these uh, extra grammar rules. I don't like these videos to go over an hour. Okay. All right, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do Targil too. So I feel like I, at least I've got a couple exercises done today. Okay, so Targil is exercise two. Um, this looks like Yosef um, Ogid. Yosef Ogid. Nope, that's not it. I think it's um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, good, okay. Add a division, Josef Ogid. Josef. Josef Oged. Josef Oged. Okay, so add a division. Okay, so okay, so basically you're putting those uh, these right here. Uh, Oged here. Okay, you're putting the who or Nimse. Nimsa. It's gonna be Nimsa. So you're gonna put who or Nimsa. Uh Bumako. This looks like Bumako. Bamakom Sisrik. Yeah, in the place. In the right place. Bamakom Shetzarich. Shetzarich. Look at that. Shetzarich. Literally, that means the right place. So Bamakom is uh, in the place. Shetzarich, the right place. And so you're gonna, you're gonna put these ogeds in there. That's these things right here. Uh, and so what are they? They're gonna be like him, him, he, or who. But it looks like in this case, they, they say, okay, if it has to do with the location, it's gonna be nimsa. Okay. Uh, all right, so I got the idea here. Uh, hakelev, blank hakelev. Uh, we're gonna use who. A Caleb who shalanu, a Caleb who shalanu. So our uh, the dog, uh, he belongs to us. Hamod. No, 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 no. Hamod. Hamod. Okay, uh, he belongs to us. The dog belongs to us. Actually, let me take a look at the first answer so I can get an idea of what they're looking for. Okay, Hakelab Shalenu. Who Hamod? Okay, I see what's going on here. Hakelab Shalenu, who Hamod? A Caleb Shalenu Huha mode. Okay, that's right. Our dog is cute. A Caleb Shalenu Huha mood. Huha mood. A Caleb Shalenu Huha mood. Huha mood. Hamood. That means cute. Look at that. Hamood. Huha mood. A Caleb Shalenu Huha mood. Okay. 
Okay, so what are they trying to do here? Look at why do they have a, uh, a blank here? That's not good. Uh, they need to give us a blank. They need to uh, not put, they shouldn't be confusing students by putting an extra blank there. So this is where it goes right here, who? So that's, that's poor, uh, that is poor um, exercise construction. Okay, so uh, let's see. Hagit Olakat, Hagit is going Lagor, a Lagan Yeladim. Okay, so I bet you it's going to be um, Hagit is going Holakat. I guess I bet you it's going to be uh, he. It's going to be he in there. It's going. No, no, not there. I try to guess this. I think it's probably going to be right here. She is going. Hagit, she is going. Lagan to Lagan Yeladim to kindergarten. So, um, I think it's going to be that maybe. Let's see what number two looks like. Get rid of this one. Oh, look at this. Hagit holaket lagan yeladim. So, okay, so there's uh, that. <laughs> some of these are tricky, aren't they? They don't all take one. They don't all take one. Okay, so, uh, and it looks to me like, yes, they do use he in some of them. Okay, so. Hagit uh, holaket lagan yeladim. Okay, so Hagit. Uh, uh, is going uh, Lagan Yeladim to kindergarten. Hagid is going to kindergarten. All right, maybe I can figure this. Maybe I can figure another one out here. Okay, Hahorim, uh, the parents blank shell ah. This is like belonging to her. Uh, I think that's uh, is like Nahakmadim is uh, means nice. But it's in reference to the parents, so it's using im ending. Nachmadim me'od is like very nice. So, um, okay, so I got this. Okay, so they are very, very nice. Ha'horim, uh, uh, so we don't need anything there. Shoha, and I bet you it's going to be, uh, yep, hem. Hem nachmadim me'od. They are very nice. Okay, uh, and I think I... Uh, yeah, okay. So that's where it goes, right there. Hahorim uh, Shala. So the parents belonging to her, Hem Nachmadim Me'od. They are very nice. Okay, number four. Uh, note. Okay, so the apart. Uh, let's see. Hameo note. What is that? If I remember that correctly. Uh, Hameo note. I think that's the dormitories. Hameo note. No, oh, come now. Hameo note. Hameo note. Yeah, Hameo note. Okay, so dormitories, blank, uh, uh, let's see, Aliyad are nearby. A campus, the campus. Okay, so it's gonna, it's definitely gonna use one of these right here. So I'm thinking, is it gonna be Nimsa Oat? Nimsa Oat. Yeah, that's right. Nimsa Oat. Yeah. Okay, so Hameo note. Yeah, I think it's going to be Nimsa Oat in here. Boy, there's no room. I'm going to have to finish it down here. Okay, so it should be uh, all this together should be Nimsa Oat. Hameo note, Nimsa Oat al Ya. That means uh, nearby. A campus. This is literally a transliteration of the campus. A campus. 
Okay, so let's see if they use neem so oak. Yeah, they do. And that's where it goes. Uh -huh. Mayo note neem so oh, look at this. They're using neem sa in. Wow, that's a tricky one. Because look at the uh, feminine plural ending on uh, neem sa oat or ha mayo note. Okay, so here's how you solve that. Uh, you use the uh, little program here called Pa'alim. And this is a neat program. I don't know if you can see this or not. There we go. Pa'alim, okay. It's on your iOS. It's on your... Um, so you, what you do is you put in uh, mayo note. Mayo note. You see, we can get it here. Yeah, it comes from Mayon. Okay, and look at it. It comes, it's the root is Mayon. Darn it, I can't get you to see it. But it's, um, it comes from Ma'on. That's the root of that Mayon note right there. Okay, so what is the gender? It's masculine. So that's why it's using Neem Sa'im. Look at that. And look at how tricky that is, because that is an irregular. That uh, a male note is uh, you don't you don't think right off that this is a masculine gender word, but it is. It is even though it uses oak ending. So that's a tricky that's a tricky deal right there. So that's why it uses nimsa in. And doesn't use nimsa oat. I just assumed, okay, this ends in oat because that's how most of them are. That's how most of them are. I mean, you, you're, you're matching forms, you're matching gender, you're matching number, uh, but not in this case. They threw us a curveball. Okay, number five. Uh, yeah, ale blank studentit. Okay, so ale is a student. Matsuyanit. She uh, Yale is a Matsuyanit. I mean, um, that means uh, Mitsuyanet. Mitsuyanet, I think, is what it is. It means excellent. Mitsuyanet. Yeah, it means excellent. Mitsuyanet. Mitsuyanet. Okay, so Metsuyenet. Okay, so uh, this is a, a student teach. She's a student Metsuyenet. Yeah, ale. And I'm not sure that one's not going to go in here. Oops, this one right here, that's not going to go in there. I'm wondering if. Um, yeah, ale. In other words, would you put he in there? If I did put he in there, it would be there. Yeah, ale, he, student, metsuyena. But I don't think you need it. So uh, let's check our answer key. Ah, yes, you do need it. Look at that. Yeah, ale, he, studentit, metsuyena. Okay, so yeah, ale, she is a student, excellent. She is an excellent student. Okay. Okay, number six, ata ha'at. Okay, so you are the brother, shell. Uh, let's see here. This is, um, this looks like Ronin. Ronin. Uh, you are, the, in other words, you are the bl brother belonging to Ronin. You are the brother belonging to Ronin. Uh, okay, so it's already using um, ata. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be used in here. So I don't think we're going to need, I don't think we're going to need anything in there. Does that make sense? You don't need an extra get. Okay, all right, good. Ata, ha'akshila ronin, okay, good. Okay, ha'yela, uh, this looks like ha'yela uh, dot. Blank, ha'katanot, ha'katanot, ha'katanot. So this is like the small children, blank. Hamodot. 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 Ha. 
Hamudot. Yeah, okay, so hi uh hakatano, the small children. Okay, so yeah, something's gonna need to go in there. They, you're gonna say they are cute. So um I think you're gonna use hen because look at this uh plural feminine gender number uh uh hakatano uh hen uh, um, um I think it's Hamudanot. Hamudanot. Oh, come now. Hamudanot. Not that one either. I think it's Hamudanot. Hamudanot. Hamudot. Hamudot. There it is. Hamudot. Hamudot. Okay. So, Hen, uh, so Hayiladot, Hakatanot, Hen, Hamudot. Okay, so let's see if that's right. Yeah, I was right. It uses hen because it got the uh, O ending there. See that? Okay, let's see if I can figure out this last one, whether or not. Let's see. Atel Medim, that's like the disciples. Blank. Oh, we don't need anything there. Name Saim are located. Where are they located? Uh, but Kita, I think that's in class. <laughs> Actually, uh, Hatel Medim is just the, the students. Uh, I, I guess I get that mixed up because, you know, Yeshua had Tel Medim. They were his disciples. Uh, but Tel Medim means students. But Kita. Yeah, in the classroom. Bakita. Bakita. Okay, so Hatel Medim, Nim Saim, Bakita. So Hotel Medim, they are located in class. And I don't think you need anything there. Okay, that's right. Uh, Hotel Medim, Nimsaim, Bakita. So the students, Hotel Medim, Nimsaim, are located, Bakita, in class. Okay, uh, all right, so the next time we're going to look at Haze. We can get it to. I can figure out how to. We should be well into an hour. Yeah. Get rid of this. No definition found. Okay, so what I need to do is, there we go. Let's try that. Okay, so that, that, I'm just trying to mark my page for next time. Okay, so we covered quite a bit of material so far. I've done two classes and look, I mean, to cover everything in, in the way that, you know, just really covers as much as I possibly can. Uh, you know, it's kind of slow going, but, you know, uh, uh, going over this, over this, over this, really, um, see, my goal, my goal personally is to get past there is a standardized test, and um, I'd like to pass that test, and uh, if you follow through this program, if you watch all these videos, uh, and you practice with this stuff, you'll probably be able to pass that test, too, which is Basically, it's a standardized test that Israel has that it, where you're proving that you're proficient in the language. Okay, uh, so um, with all of that, okay, so we're part of the New Age Restoration uh and the local uh greenwood jihad which means just means togetherness and messiah hmisrael.com reach out to me at shul hmisrael okay uh hey if you enjoyed these studies uh consider making a donation cash app 
Last time I put the wrong uh, symbol in there. It's not a hashtag. It's a dollar sign, I guess, in Cash App. So just be aware of that, Cash App. And some of those videos have the wrong uh, thing on there. Cash App, send it to uh, Micromessianic, and that gets to me. And I will use it for materials. I'll use it for um, you know, Zoom Room, stuff like that. Pretty much been wanting to focus on just the language stuff. I got kind of sidetracked on that Lilith book and a couple other books, but I just don't have the time. I need to focus on one thing, and that is the Hebrew. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, you guys that are interested in those materials, that's those materials are still on there on my Facebook page. Uh, also, um, let me see what else can I think of. Oh, Sabbath. Uh, those of you guys want a Sabbath service online, we have a great uh, Essene type. And it's uh, Messiah Yeshua honoring. Messiah Yeshua honoring. Oh, it's on Zoom. So da you go to zoom.us, down Zoom, and then use this website to get into the room. Okay, and that will get you into a... Zoom room. Now, remember, uh, Sukkot is coming up. That's the Feast of Tabernacles. So we're not going to have a Sabbath service probably uh, publicly done uh, for those who are going to Sukkot. So just keep that in mind. But you can always go to uh, this website right here, and there is a, a calendar. Go to the calendar. Okay, and I think that's what it shows on there. Okay, um, oh. okay, so, um, so here it is. Oh, it's, it's not under calendar, it's Yahad events. I need to change that and make that calendar because that's really not very, uh, very uh, um, straightforward. But you click on that and you open up our calendar. Okay, and so, um, so just uh, be aware of that. And okay, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll try to get back at it another time. And uh, so I will say shalom, shalom.